हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अर आइज टैलेंट एज यू नो वी आर स्टार्टिंग द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर ऑफ सी बी एस ई क्लास नाइन्थ बायोलॉजी दैट इज द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ इन विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट द थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट कॉम्पोनेट्स ऑफ यू कैरियोटिक सेल दैट इज प्लाब्रा मेमरी न्यूक्लियस एंड साइटोप्लास नाउ वी आर स्टडिंग द इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ दैट इज सेल ऑर्गेनिज इन विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोट यू वॉट आर सेल ऑर्गेनिज मीन्स मेमरीन बाउंड सब सेल्युलर स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ द सेल आर नोन एज सेल ऑर्गेनिज एंड दे आर डिफरेंट इन शेप एंड साइज दे हैव स्पेसिफिक शेप एंड फंक्शन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ सेल ऑर्गेनिज इन माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोट यू अबाउट एंडो प्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम एंड आई टोट यू दैट एंडो प्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम गिव राइज टू अदर सेल ऑर्गेनिज दैट आर गोलगी एपरेटस लाइजोजोम एंड वैक्यूल सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दो सेल ऑर्गेनिज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल टॉक अबाउट गोलगी एपरेटस ओके गोलगी एपरेटस ओके सो हियर वी कैन सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ गोलगी एपरेटस जनरली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट इट वॉज डिस्कवर्ड बाय कैमिलो गोलगी इन एटीन नाइनटी एट इट वॉज discovered by camelo golgi in 1898 okay and then if we uh, know the origin uh, origin of it then we can say that these golgi apparatus generally originates from the rough surface of endoplasmic reticulum okay horizon so we can say it originates from rough endoplasmic reticulum that has lost its ribosome that has lost its ribosomes okay so we can see here the structure that golgi apparatus generally arises from rough endoplasmic reticulum which has lost ribosomes clear now we can see now uh, if you talk about the structure then we can see the structure in the picture this is it has disk like structure disk like shape and generally it is mem uh, made up of membrane bound cisterni as i told you endoplasmic reticulum has three form cisterni tubule and vesicle here and uh, golgi apparatus are made up of flat and membrane bound cisternies okay and there here are the vesicles also then we can see that these cisternies means golgi body and vesicle together are known as what golgi apparatus and in the plants they are known as dictyosome so structure if we talk about the structure then we can see it is disc shape made of flat membrane bound organelles called cisterni okay here we can see that it is made up of membrane bound uh, structures they are known as cisterni these are flat in shape and we can mention here that golgi body and vesicle together are known as golgi apparatus okay so whole this structure completely known as golgi apparatus because it contains two things golgi bodies and vesicles now we can say that if we see the structure of golgi apparatus under the electron microscope we can find that it has two faces it has two poles and it has two faces one is cis phase and another is trans phase okay 
So here we can mention generally Golgi apparatus or Gol it has two phases one is cis phase and other is trans phase. Now what happens from the cis phase here we can see that vesicles are present here they enter in the cis phase and then here they are modified and then come out from the trans phase clear. So, here we can mention vesicles enters in cis phase and modify their then come out from trans phase. Okay, is it clear that Golgi apparatus has two phases, uh, they are cis phase and trans phase, generally vesicles enter from the cis phase, here you can see vesicles enters from the cis phase and then they modify here and come out from the trans phase, clear. Now, what is the difference between Golgi apparatus and endoplasmic reticulum? So, here we can see that when we have seen the structure of endoplasmic reticulum, here you can see endoplasmic reticulum are generally physically connected, okay. But here you can see that sister knees are separate, they are individual, they are separate, they are not connected to each other, okay. So, here we can mention difference between difference between endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus so what is the difference between endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus that sister knees are physically connected in endoplasmic reticulum but in Golgi apparatus cisternes are Cisterni are not connected to each other, they are separate. Okay, so this is the main difference between the endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus. The cisterni uh, in the Golgi apparatus are separate from each other, they are not connected, but in the endoplasmic reticulum, they are cisternies are connected to each other, okay, by the form of tubule. Clear? Next is what is the function of Golgi apparatus? As we know, Golgi apparatus are metabolically very active, so they perform different functions. Next is function of Golgi apparatus. What are the functions of Golgi apparatus? As Golgi apparatus are are metabolically active. They are metabolically active and perform various functions. Okay, so 
what are the functions first of all it helps in the packaging of material first of all packaging of materials which materials generally the materials which come from the endoplasmic reticulum okay so here we can mention then it helps in packaging of material it helps in modifying and packaging of material that comes from endoplasmic reticulum okay and generally it helps in the formation of what it helps in the formation of other cell organelles like vacuoles and lysosomes it helps helps in formation of it helps in formation of cell organelles that is lysosome and vacuoles generally uh, here you can see in the pictures that the end of the cisterni are swollen and the, these ends give the rise to the lysosomes and vacuoles clear beside it as we know that the membrane of uh, golgi apparatus is also means membrane here we can see that these membranes are made up of lipoprotein okay thus we can say that golgi apparatus also help in the membrane biogenesis okay helps in it helps in membrane formation because it contains actually its uh, membrane is made up of lipoprotein okay so it also helps in the formation of membrane clear so these are the important functions of golgi apparatus here we have studied about the golgi apparatus that first of all it was discovered by camillo golgi in 1898 and uh, we generally it uh, originates from the what endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum that has lost its ribosome okay so it was all about the golgi apparatus now we will talk about the lysosome which derives from the golgi apparatus now next we will talk about lysosome next is lysosome what are lysosomes lysosomes are spherical in shape generally they originate from golgi apparatus okay and they are spherical uh, in shape and they are membrane bound vacuolar organelle generally the membrane is made up of lipoprotein and they can be seen only in the electron microscope so here we can mention lysosomes are lysosomes are electron microscopic electron microscopic spherical spherical membrane bound membrane bound vacuolar cell organelle okay and the membrane is made up of lipoprotein membrane of lysosome is made up of lipoprotein okay 
ओराइजन इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द ओराइजन दैन दे अराइज फ्रॉम गोलगी ऑपरेटर्स लाइजोजोम्स अराइज फ्रॉम अराइज फ्रॉम गोलगी ऑपरेटर्स ओके दे अराइज फ्रॉम गोलगी ऑपरेटर्स जनरल लाइजोजोम आर ऑफ फोर टाइप प्राइमरी लाइजोजोम सेकेंडरी लाइजोजोम ऑटोफेगोसोम एंड टर्सरी लाइजोजोम लाइजोजोम्स आर ऑफ फोर टाइप वॉट आर दे प्राइमरी लाइजोजोम सेकेंडरी लाइजोसोम ऑटोफेगोसोम एंड टर्शरी टर्शरी lysosome okay so thus we can say that lysosomes are of four type primary secondary autophagosomes and tertiary lysosomes okay now we will talk about them in detail first of all we will talk about primary lysosome generally lysosome contains digestive enzymes okay and they are responsible for intracellular digestion here we can mention that lysosomes are lysosomes are responsible for responsible for intra cellular digestion okay now first of all we will talk about primary lysosome generally they arise from the golgi apparatus and they do not have any digestive enzyme this is the reason they are known as storage materials also or storage granules here we can mention primary lysosome they do not have they do not have digestive enzymes digestive enzymes and are known as storage granules storage granules okay next is secondary next is secondary lysosome secondary lysosomes generally these secondary lysosomes are made by the fusion of primary lysosome and endosome they are formed formed by the fusion by the fusion of primary lysosome and endosomes everything i'll explain you by the diagram So first you understand that they are formed by the fusion of primary lysosome and endosome now next is autophagosome auto phagosome generally they are made by the primary 
lysosomes and and the fusion of cell organelles during the deficiency of foreign bodies or foreign materials they are formed formed by fusion of or we can say they are formed by primary lysosomes and cell organelles you can mention here they are formed by primary lysosomes and cell organelles during the deficiency of during the deficiency of foreign material okay fourth type is tertiary tertiary lysosome generally they contain undigested food material they have they contain undigested food material okay now i'll explain you the whole structure here look it's a cell okay as we all know that uh, endocytosis is the process when the cell takes the food inside the cell by the process of pinocytosis and phagocytosis so here you can see when the cell takes liquid food material inside the body that is pinocytosis here it's pinocytosis okay and by the process of phagocytosis this is the phago cytosis okay it's pinocytosis and it's phagocytosis so when these food food particles enters in the cell they are known as endosomes here endosomes solid food particle and liquid food particle endosomes these are endosomes okay now as we all know that endoplasmic reticulum give rise to golgi apparatus and from the golgi uh, apparatus primary lysosome is formed so here it is primary lysosome which is formed from the golgi apparatus it's golgi apparatus okay when it lost the ribosomes then it give rise to the here now what we can say primary lysosome is made by the golgi apparatus now what happens when this endosome and primary lysosomes are fused together then they form what they form secondary lysosome so it is secondary lysosome it has endosome and primary lysosome so we can say by the fusion of primary lysosome and endosomes another lysosome is formed that is known as secondary here it is secondary lysosome 
so okay so as i told you that secondary lysosome are formed by the fusion of primary lysosome and endosome so these are endosomes and this is the primary lysosome by the fusion of it a uh, secondary lysosome is formed now what happens here we will talk about autophagosome here is the structure of autophagosome generally it contains what primary lysosome and cell organelles so we can mention here cell organelles are present okay and fusion of primary lysosomes this is the structure of autophagosome it is autophagosome okay now what happens here secondary lysosome have some digestive enzymes so the material will get digested and then undigested material will left here in another vesicle that is known as what that is known as tertiary lysosome here it contains unwanted or undigested food material and it is tertiary lysosome now this unwanted material which is undigested actually it is thrown out of the cell here when this vesicle will come here and it will attach to the cell membrane then unwanted material which is undigested will thrown out of the cell by the process of exocytosis okay so this is the all about the types of lysosome generally uh, lysosomes are four are of four types primary lysosome secondary lysosome autophagosome and tertiary lysosome so this is the full procedure the how they work now what are the functions of lysosome as i told you that lysosome contains digestive enzymes and they are responsible for intracellular digestion okay so what is the function of lysosome the function of lysosome is of digestion here we can mention functions of lysosome what are the functions of lysosome digestion of food material okay digestion of unwanted material digestion of unwanted unwanted material digestion of harmful material present in the cell digestion of harmful material okay so thus we can say that the function of lysosome is to digest the things now one more thing that lysosomes are also known as a uh, suicidal bag of the cell because they digest uh, the whatever the harmful substances are present in the cell and they break down the worn out cells and cell organelles here we can mention this is very important generally a question comes into the exam that why are lysosomes known as suicidal bags here i can mention lysosomes sorry lysosomes are known as suicidal bags as they are known as suicidal bags as suicidal bags of the cell as they remove the foreign bodies of uh, the foreign bodies as they remove the foreign bodies and toxic material toxic material by 
breaking down the worn out cells and cell organelles okay so lysosomes are known as suicidal bag of the cell why because they remove the foreign bodies they remove the foreign bodies and toxic material from the cell and they break down here we can mention from the cell from the cell and break down the worn out cells and cell organelles so this was all about the lysosome hope everything is clear to you in a good manner for more videos for more interesting lectures and question answers you can subscribe our channel that is arizer talent thank you